Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast, simple, homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. And today I am talking about all things coffee. We are making a really, really nice moist coffee cake that you can slice and have in the freezer for whenever you want that delicious cup of coffee. You can just take a slice out and have it ready to go, okay? We've got our milk, our sugar, our flour. We've used a delicious coffee that's really thick um, you can use any coffee you like. You're just going to take um, some coffee, add a teaspoon, uh, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of water and make it into a thick paste. So the instructions will come up on the screen. So what we're going to do is at first, we're going to get our butter actually. We're going to put our butter in our bowl. Okay, and this is just softened butter at room temperature. And we're going to use one cup of sugar, okay? And just put our sugar in. And we're going to start creaming this together. Okay, so I'm just going to use my electric whisk and start creaming. Let's go. Once you've got your butter and your sugar creamed together, you can then start to add in your, um, your flour. What you want to do is you want to take your baking powder and add it to your flour and a half teaspoon of salt goes into your flour. Then you're going to add your flour to your, um, about half of it, add it to your, um, your already creamed sugar and um, margarine. Add about half the eggs and give it a whisk around, okay? Okay, when that's whisked, you're just going to add your other halves in. So your three eggs, the rest of your eggs, the rest of your um, flour, and then you're going to add in your dissolved coffee, okay? And in it goes, oh, this is gonna be so rich and delicious. Okay, use your favourite coffee blend, whatever one you want. And let's give it another mix. Finally guys, just for the last mix, you're just going to add in your milk, okay? Your milk is your last thing that you add in. Give it another mix around and you're ready to start putting it into your tin. Now if you can hear me above this, this is going to be absolutely delicious. It's going to cook for an hour and ten minutes. I'm cooking it in a low tin. you want okay so you can slice before you freeze and here we go look this is exactly what it looks like it took five minutes really easy and simple to do we're going to get this in the oven and we're going to come back and see what it looks like once it's baked okay well guys it's one hour and five minutes later and we have cake 